Robert Truax doing the kicking off for the Vikings. Back to receive for the Devils was Laquan Lewis. And Lewis will take it beyond the 25-yard line out near the 30 for ASU. They will set up shop, and back comes Stephen Three. You know, Juan, when they talk about the quarterbacks at ASU, they're three very different personalities. Brock Osweiler, more the, the jokester of the group. Samson Sakachi, the great entertainer. Of course, he loves music. They call Stephen Three the brain, saying he is so smart. Osweiler right there actually says, Stephen Three is a genius. He doesn't know how he retains so much information in that head of his. Well, it always helps to be the smart guy when you're the quarterback. Yes, very cerebral, but maybe sometimes thinks a little too much instead of just reacting and let his physical skills take over. And before the snap, flag drops. 9.41 to go until halftime. And stick around at the half. Jody Dead Jackson ball. will be joined by the ASU Athletic Director, Lisa Love. Five yard penalty, still first down. It'll be first and five for the ASU offense. And it was a very competitive situation between Threes and Brock Osweiler and initially Samson Sakachi, but Sakachi was coming off of shoulder surgery, fell behind the other two. And uh, it's not a quarterback controversy. It's actually a good thing, according to Dennis Erickson, because he has options. And three and Osweiler have maintained a very strong relationship all throughout. Yeah, they're roommates on the, you know, in the hotel, and they're, they're really good friends. Three with a handoff to DeAndre Lewis. Lewis plows ahead past the 40 yard line for an ASU first down. ASU fans are going to fall in love with DeAndre Lewis. He's kind of like a microburst. You don't really see him coming, and then all of a sudden, plenty of damage. Got to love it when your offense is uh, getting a little bit of a rhythm as uh, Noel Mazzoni's uh, unit is doing right now. DeAndre, another one of those players coming out of Norco High School, where Garth Gerhardt's dad coaches. Ten-yard carry this time for Lewis. North-South vertical runner, according to his running backs coach, Bryce Erickson. And the one thing they said for DeAndre Lewis to get more rest and to see more action, he has to become a better blocker. And he admitted he didn't have to do any blocking in high school. Well, when you're the stud running back in high school, they never ask you to block anybody. They just hand you the ball and tell you to score touchdowns. And that is an element that they have to learn when they get to college. And a lot of options for ASU at the running back position, Marshall. We've seen Jamal Miles and Deontre Lewis, the dump off pass to Trevor Cole. The tight end Trevor Cole started as a walk-on here at ASU, coming over from Mesa Community College. Steven Threat with a great read on that play was able to be patient, let the play develop, not do anything stupid with the football. And this is why he won the starting job. One thing about the ASU quarterbacks in that second scrimmage, none of them gave an interception. They didn't throw an interception, didn't fumble the football. So all quarterbacks were smart with the football, but Steven Threat really, just that experience of already starting, he's able to just give you that little bit of an oomph to get the, that good play. Three on the keeper, right up the gut, and he is drilled at the 24. And it helps when you're 6'5", 237 to take the pop, as he did from Nick Green, a converted quarterback. You know, we talked to Dennis Erickson yesterday about Stephen Three. He said that, you know, the year off kind of affected him a little bit, his timing, his uh, feel for the game. But uh, you wouldn't know that by looking at him tonight. First down after the three scramble. Eight minutes to go here in the second. Fake handoff over the middle to Mike Willie, breaks free into the end zone. Touchdown, ASU. Flag is down at the 17-yard line. We're going to have to find out what exactly happened here. Might be coming back. Neither side's really celebrating over this, so it looks like it's going to be discussed. Oh, and they will bring it back. Dan Knapp. Dan Knapp thought he was still a tight yeah, end. Yeah, he was going out for a pattern. Hey, he's not tackle eligible, Dan. You gotta stay behind the line of scrimmage, big guy. As you watch Dan Knapp here, the left tackle. Hey, you can't be down the field, Knapp. <laughs> You're not running the route, man. You gotta stay there at pass block. Well, we talked about him switching positions from tight end to the offensive line. Uh, you know Mike Willie's gut just hurt oh, with that one. No kidding. <laughs> So they erase what would have been a 24-yard touchdown completion from three to Will. Swing pass over to DeAndre Lewis along the sideline. This time, touchdown ASU and no flags. 
28 yards. That was just a great job of Stephen Three reading the blitz, being a little courageous, knowing he might get hit or he might get pressured, and allowing the play to develop. Again, he's just doing a tremendous job of seeing the field tonight. And you have to wonder how Mike Willie is feeling. He gave up the touchdown oh. reception to DeAndre Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> the junior college transfer junior gave one up to the true freshman DeAndre Lewis, but uh, he's just a, he's a great player in the making, isn't he? Wow. He really is electrifying. And very sharp in his first start for ASU. Stephen Three finds Lewis for the score, 23-6 ASU.